On the other side, closer to Kansas City, yes, we have the clouds, but no, we do not have the rainfall yet. It's blue and mostly white out there, and the current temperature is still in the 80s for most of us, 82 degrees. So it was cooler, as we promised you it would be compared to yesterday. A north wind now at 9 miles an hour, so that feels like temperature gets pushed way down the scale to about 84 degrees is what it feels like, because that humidity and that drier air is starting to move in. Here's a look at the First Alert Diners forecast. If you're going to be heading out this evening, patio dining, please go for it. Probably will go for the temperature right now in the low 80s. I still think some of us, especially farther south of the I-70 corridor, will still touch on 90 degrees within the next hour. 89 by 6 p.m., 87 by 7. So I'm trying to shoot high here that this is the highest the temperature should be within the region. The farther south you travel, the more likely it's going to stay sticky. The farther north you go, it'll be more refreshing and closer to those mid 80s as you just saw. How about high temperatures heading into tomorrow? 89 degrees in Smithville, 90 degrees for Leavenworth. Same for Liberty, Independence 90 and about 89 degrees down to our Blue Springs and Lee Summit and also Overland Park. But as mentioned, we do have a change coming in here, that being a big time warming trend, not just a two days over 90. It'll be several days. So as we review your Saturday, 65 in the morning, afternoon high of 89 degrees. Your first alert giving you like on Sunday night into Monday, a chance of some showers and thunderstorms rolling through. Before that, though, the bulk of the day dry. 69 will be the start, afternoon high of 91, and this is when the humidity starts to creep in. Monday, 75 to 95 degrees. Tuesday, Sporting KC hopefully continuing that record. 75 to 96, you know the heat index is going to be well over 100. Wednesday, also 77 to 97 degrees. Check out Thursday, still pretty hot. 95, feeling like close to 100. And then when the Royals come back after the All-Star break, 90s and mid-90s at that, and morning temperatures in the 70s, maybe cooling down, cooling down a little bit to 71 degrees by next Sunday morning.